Judy Sardin here, Classical School at Home, and I wanted to do a review on Singapore math and why it works for our family. Um, one of the things that I looked for in a math program was something that would obviously teach the children math, but more than just a rote memorization type of math, I really wanted them to understand it. I'm fairly good in math, and so math was not a subject that scared me. So. I was eager to jump into Singapore math because I had heard or read that it is a robust math program. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews online um, that has some complaints about Singapore math, and so I decided to do a review so that those of you who are thinking about it and who may not be sold one way or the other, um, so you could see where we are and how we got to where we are and it would help you make a decision either way on whether it's something that you want to do for your family. Now, I have used Singapore math since kindergarten and what when my children were in kindergarten I looked at Singapore math and I looked at Horizon math. What I liked about Singapore math is that it is a mastery program and as opposed to being a spiral based program like Horizons. I know a lot of people like Horizons and frankly the books are so pretty, they're colorful, but in the Horizons programs what I found was that you would end up presenting three or four concepts in one lesson. For example, if the lesson was on the number five, you might cover five pennies, so you're dealing with a little bit of money. You might cover counting to five, obviously, writing the number five. Um, you might also cover left and right, or you might cover first, middle, and last, like all in the same lesson. So your lesson today is just the lesson today, and you would cover whatever the page, it's usually one page front and back. Um, and it would be, it's pretty, it's colorful, but there might be four, maybe even five different concepts that you're covering in today's lesson. I am a linear thinker. That was too much for me. Uh, so I looked at, at um, Singapore Math's kindergarten program. I chose their essential math program. They have an everyday math, which I think is more like something you'd find in a school, a more textbooky. I really don't know because I've never used it or looked at it for that matter, but I chose the essential math. Um, it's very plain. It's very bare bones. It's, uh, as you see, black and white pages. And every day, as you see, these are two different lessons here. So, and they're on unit two, and unit two is talking about numbers to five. And so it has various activities. You can do one page a day, you can do two or three pages a day. That was one page. And now the next day we're talking about, okay, so we've written number, the numbers two, three, and four. Now let's start counting. It's very basic, um, and that's what I needed. Uh, here's the table of contents, and as you'll see, each chapter covers one topic. So you might have five pages, you might have 20 pages, but they are all on one topic. And that's what I needed. So here you can see, um, I've written out when the child completed these, but anyway, um, you can see it's just it's just very straightforward. And, and that's what I needed. So if you are looking at mastery versus spiral, I know some people like spiral because you're revisiting topics that you've already covered. It was it was too much for me. So, having chosen that in first in kindergarten, I continued with it in second in first grade with my oldest child. Um, now, one of the things I've read about Singapore math is that it's supposedly cheaper than other math programs. I have not found that to be necessarily true, and that is because I purchased. The textbook, I purchased the workbook, I also purchased the home instructor's guide. In addition to that, I purchased the intensive practices book as well as the challenging word problems book. Now all of those books that I've just mentioned except for the challenging word problems book, you have to buy each of those books each semester. So I just bought a stack at the homeschool expo 
Here is our stack of five books. This is for the first semester. And then I will have the same stack for the second semester. All told, that added up to about $130. So $130 for the school year for a math program. I don't really know how that compares with other math programs, but I didn't find that particularly cheap. So um, now certainly each book is is well priced. I mean, what, $10, $15 per book. But since you have to buy so many books, it does add up. Um, obviously, you need the textbook. Uh, the textbook is in color. It's color. It has pretty pages. Um, it has, you know, explanations. It's a typical um, textbook. It has, page, it has the pages laid out. They have practice problems on the page. Um, and that sort of thing. One of the complaints that I've heard about Singapore math is that it doesn't have enough practice. They don't give you enough. And that's um, one of the things, I guess, about it being an Asian math. I think in so many Asian countries, kids do so much outside of class with after school math programs that maybe they don't consider it necessary um, in class. But, um, but I think that you can get what you need with Singapore. So what I use is the textbook. Um, the 2B textbook does actually have a lot more practice in it than the one, than the first grade textbooks. They actually have these practice, these practices here um, pretty often. And then at the end of the chapter, they have reviews. So this second grade book actually has significantly more practice in it than the first grade book did. So I buy the textbook and then of course you have to buy the workbook. The workbook is in black and white and it pretty much covers exactly what you just did in the textbook. So whatever you did in the textbook, you do the problems at the end of each section and now at the end of the chapter and then you do your workbook pages that go along as you go through the chapters um, every couple of pages or so you're assigned a few pages out of the workbook and that's how that goes. Um, now, the intensive practices book. The Singapore math that I use is the standards version. It's based on the California standards. It's essentially the same thing as the US version of the Singapore math series, but things there might be a couple of things added to meet the California standards. And also, um, I've read that it's the standards version is more Americanized than the US version is. So this intensive practices book actually comes with the US um, series, but I like it because not only does it provide extra practice, but when it says intensive practice, it is intense. So whereas the workbook will have covered exactly what we just covered in the text, the intensive practices book covers things deeper. They truly test the child's understanding of the concept. So whereas in the first grade intensive practices book, for example, in the workbook, we cover addition and we may cover three plus four is fill in the blank. The intensive practices book, on the other hand, would say, I am a number, I am two minus seven minus three. So the child has to understand, okay, I have to figure out seven minus three, and then I have to take two away from that um, difference. So that's just an example, but the intensive practices book truly is intensive, and I use it to find out whether my kids really did understand the concept um, as presented in the textbook. They may breeze through the workbook, but consistently, the intensive practice book requires more thinking. It might take us a couple of days to get through one exercise as opposed to them breezing through uh, one of the assignments in the workbook in 10 minutes. So I like it and I use that as our extra practice. I also purchase the challenging word problems. It's also based on the US version of Singapore math. 
and it's exa exactly what it says, challenging word problems. They all need to learn how to do their word problems. There's no section that has more than 10 word problems, so you can do a couple a day because they are challenging. They will take kids a little bit longer, but I purchase all of those books because I really want to make sure that the kids are not only memorizing and regurgitating math, but that they truly understand it. And I think that's the strength of Singapore math. You can do it shallow if you want, or you can really go deep. The beauty of homeschooling is we are on a 12 month uh, year here in Georgia. You can set your calendar year for as, your school year for as long or short as you want. We chose 12 months. I chose that so that it takes us a full year, a full 12 months to get through all these books. But by the end of the 12 months, I know that my kids, they've got it. And because they've mastered it and they've had all kinds of problems thrown at them, I think that we don't need to keep bringing it up a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, as you would in a spiral approach. Um, clearly, I just don't like spiral. Um, and then finally, I purchased the Home Instructor's Guide. I find it helpful. Again, I am a mathy person. I like math, pretty good at it. And honestly, I don't need it to help me teach the kids addition and you know, the basic stuff that we've gone over so far in kindergarten and first grade. However, I did find it very helpful in first grade um, because my children are different. They learn differently. And typically in the Home Instructor's Guide, they will give you a couple of different ways of approaching the different topics. It will, it provides you activities, games that you can do beforehand. I typically do not do the games beforehand if I find that one of the kids is having a problem understanding a concept, then I will go back and do the game, and I will go back and reference the book to see what they recommend um, for approaching the book, for how, how they recommend approaching the topic. Um, the Home Instructor's Guide has all the answers to the exercises in the text, as well as the exercises in the workbook. You will have to purchase the answers to challenging word problems and to intensive practices separately. I have not had to do that so far, but we've only gotten through first grade. Um, so yeah, it, it can add up. I mean, if I had to buy those answer keys, it'd probably put me at about $150 a year for Singapore math, and that's for one student. Granted, I can use some of this stuff over with my second child, but honestly, I can only use the home instructor's guide and the textbook because all the rest of the books are consumables. So it adds up, and so I, I don't think that Singapore math is cheap, but I do think it is an effective uh, math program. Now, um, if you're not mathy, I don't think that you need to be mathy to teach it so far. Again, I'm only through first grade, but I don't think you need to be particularly mathy to teach it. The Home Instructor's Guide is very good at giving you very, it, it holds your hand, really. And maybe after a year or two, you might not need it. After a year or two, you may need it if you didn't need it at first because the math is becoming a little more difficult. I imagine I will um, continue to have to use it as I go forward. Um, now, I don't just use Singapore math. I use other resources. With my first child, memorization is not a problem. Second child, it's a problem. So I pull out our Mekon math, our, our red and our orange books, to help the second child with learning math facts. Um, using the rods is very helpful. Seeing the process is very helpful for that child, whereas the first child does do the rods sometimes, but it's not necessary. Um, I also use a program called Dreambox Learning. It's, uh, and I'm not getting a an affiliate fee for this or anything, so it's just something that I found very useful. Um, you can use it on your iPad or on your computer. Dreambox Learning, and I'll do another review on this because I think it's fantastic, but this is a little, it's, it's like a game, they're like games, and it teaches kids math. And what I like about it is that it's very good with Singapore math because it stresses mental math. And by using um, Dreambox Learning with Singapore, they, they really mesh in that they're both teaching 
manipulating numbers in your head. They're both approach. They both have a totally different approach to learning math. Um, lots of shortcuts. Instead of adding 52 plus 41, you add in your head. Uh, you add the tens and then you add the ones without making it a big deal. It's just it's it's just it comes second nature. My my son, my first child, is very good at. Um, doing mental math and at the end of first grade he's able to tell the poor teenage cashier the correct change because the kid just couldn't do it in their head and the cash register wasn't working oh my gosh uh, so um, so yeah so Dreambox learning is excellent for teaching or for helping kids to learn how to manipulate math. It's one thing to know one plus one equals two, but to be able to manipulate it and understand how numbers interact is, I think, very important. And both Singapore Math and Dreambox Learning do that. You can get Dreambox Learning through the Homeschool Buyers Co-op, which is where I bought it, um, at a significant discount. So if you're interested, you can sign up for a free I think seven day, maybe 14 day trial, I suggest you just sign up and check it out. Again, I'm not getting any affiliate links for that or anything. Um, I just think it's a great program to, to work with Singapore Math. The other thing that we use is, um, we use Splash Math on our iPad. Yeah, there we go. Splash Math is the, the workbooks. They're essentially workbooks, and I have it for first, second, and third grade because I needed third grade to cover multiplication, which mul which Singapore math starts in first grade. So, um, so I have all three grades, and it's essentially workbooks, worksheets for each grade. So you have the uh, first grade workbooks. It has, covers this is a first grade one, but it covers everything that they're supposed to cover in first grade time adding they do adding with models then they do adding with real stuff you can do math facts on here as well they have a se separate section where you can do you can set up the math facts whichever way you want you can set it up by sum or by highest number or whatever um, and so this I use splash math just to make sure I'm covering everything that I need to cover in first grade because I think Singapore maybe doesn't cover everything that we would typically cover in the United States. So I use Splash Math as my math worksheets to make sure we get it all done. Um, and that's essentially it. Those are the things that I supplement Singapore Math with. But I think as a program, Singapore Math is excellent. Um, and I think it will prepare any student to be able to, I don't know, um, cash know what the change is going to be at the cash register if nothing else even if they never go on to higher level math i think at this age it, it builds a very good foundation for your kids so i hope that this review has been helpful for you and um, if you have any questions just run over to my website www.classicalschoolathome.com and shoot me a comment and um, i'll be happy to answer any questions